Hello everybody, it is Az here with Lucky Dark Games. It is so lovely to see you, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube or Twitch. I'm here for the first time in a brand new studio. I mean, I'd like to say brand new studio. I've just changed where you guys are sitting. You're just sitting in a different location this time. Norm normally you would be that way, now you're this way. You're just going to have to get used to it, all right? But you're still the same chat. You're still going to be here and we're doing something very fun tonight. Uh, who's chatting to me in the comments? Wood! <laughs> Susie! Big heart with fingers for your wood. Uh, we are here today for a Let's Play. Super chilled, right? A super chilled Let's Play where we can have fun. Hello, Brie. Lovely to see you. Usually, it's Brie and I. We're slogging through Kingdom Rush Rift in Time. We've done the whole campaign, though. You can go and watch all of our Kingdom Rush Rift in Time playthrough where we did all 10 scenarios. So we're taking a little breather. In a couple of weeks' time, we're going to have the launch of Divinus on the 27th of July. We're going to be on Gamefire. That's two weeks from now. So this is an opportunity for me to grab a couple of people, some of who I owe an immense amount of favors to, and I'll come to that in a second, and one of which I've been meaning to get on the show for a long time and finally have, which I'm elated about, and just have a bit of a relaxed evening. We're going to get the Little Furry Haggises out. We're going to play some King of Twelve, which is one of my favorite releases from this year. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Susie and Bree, all the highs and loves in chat. I love our little community that we're starting to grow. It makes me very happy. But without further ado and further rambling from me, say hello wherever you are in the world, and I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to introduce the lovely people that I have with me. Hello, everybody. Hello. <laughs> hello. hello, Reaper Demon as well. So to my left, look at that first try, I have Will, better known as the Hunger Gamer of Hunger Gamer Reviews. Hello, Will. How are you doing, sir? I'm fantastic and can't <laughs> wait. To, I'm happy to be in the past from all of you who I believe are all eight hours ahead of me. So uh, this, you can uh, tell me if I won, I guess. You messaged me a few weeks ago to say, right, I'm on holidays now, as If you want me, get me. And I was like, right, <laughs> I've got a Kingdom Rush campaign and then I've got Divinus coming. But if I can squeeze something in the middle, which is exactly what we're doing tonight, I'm like, I got to grab Will. And I was just literally dropped him a message. He was like, please tell me you're free that night. And he was like, yes. And I was like, Fantastic, because I've been kind of waiting for the opportunity for a while. And I like how you said that, like I'm really important. Like, well, if if you want me, you you can have me this week. But you know, but beyond I, that, I'm just like I'm just slammed. I mean, I got I know, everybody. I know, I had to fisticuffs a whole pile of people to get to you. You know, don't even don't even pretend. I know the diary was <laughs> chocker. <laughs> and where I mean, where specifically in the world are you? I'm in San Jose, California, and it is just after noon right now. Just so, so we're, well, we're obviously 8 p.m. here in the UK. And my fellow uk <laughs> let it go, let it go. We'll pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> Down below, I've got Ben and I've got Kelly Lee of the game covered. Hello, you two. Hello. And this is, this is, I feel like you may not feel this, but I feel like this is, this is old because I've been on your stream solving crimes. I've been on your stream doing destinies. I've been on your stream sealing pirate ships. And <laughs> yeah. finally, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, I can have you guys on <laughs> on our stream for once and get to return the fever. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you very thank much for having us. Invite. <laughs> and, and thank you for letting me uh, pitch you two as rivals this evening, uh, which is something, I, not that I want to come between you two, but there can only be one king or queen of 12 at the end of this evening. Uh, we will have a practice game, but then I want no holes barred, full, <laughs> you know, clash, and I don't want I don't want you guys holding back in the big game, you know. It's all good. We used to it. Won't, won't hold back in the first game. <laughs> yes, <Ben. Wow>, okay. <laughs> now, now the question is: do, do do I need to put on a um, Dick Van Dyke style accent to be part of this? You know, Mary Poppins <laughs> style. I mean, because I if that's think... what you want. I don't think you have to, but I kind of want it. Will I'm not going to lie to you. Very <laughs> <laughs> poppins. <laughs> okay, everyone, that's the end of the stream. It doesn't get any better than that. We've peaked. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> yep, uh, the, the whole, I've offended an entire country. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, hello to everyone in the same chat. Hello. Tabletop Rebellion, lovely to see you in the chat. Reaper Demon saying hello. Ah, uh, there's Chris at the Charity Board Gamer in chat as well. And there's Martin, hello, nice to see you here too. This is awesome. Lots of lovely people in chat. Well, look, without much further ado, let's bring the real stars of the show in. And I'm very sorry, guys, but they are the real stars. We know it. And if you didn't watch the last time we played King of 12, the stars are absolutely the Harry Haggises. Yay. <laughs> So today we've got three contenders. We have the little strawberry sunset Harry Haggis. We have the, uh, let's say vanilla Harry Haggis. And then we have the kind of cookies and cream Harry Haggis over here. 
who are going to be resenting, uh, representing our lovely players that we have playing from their homes. Uh, I guess what I need to ask you players to do before we pick our, our Harry Haggis is, is to grab your seven cards. If you haven't done it already, get your seven cards that we're going to play. And I'll explain to people at home what we're doing. Because in King of 12, where's my big stack? There's my big stack. In King of 12, each player has 12 different characters available to them, and every player has all 12. And each time you play, you choose seven of these that are going to make up your, your, your basically your characters for that. And all four players, up to three to four players, four, two to four players, use the same characters. And when you play a character, that's going to be it spent, essentially, for that. My thing over here has just crashed, which isn't a good sign. Yeah, give me a second, because that's the Haggis's camera. Right, Haggis, come on now. Can't have that. Haggis cam just crashed. Let me uh, let me give that a quick fix. So what I'm asking Ben and Kelly Lee and Will to do now is basically, uh, there we go. Haggis cam is basically grab the same seven characters. So you should have Haggis cam is not go? back. Oh, give me a second. Let me see. Start cam. You know, I'm just kind of thinking about that. Like if there's an actual stream that was just all Haggis all the time. Dude, it's <laughs> like they tried it, but it was too like R-rated. You know, they could only really show that much haggis after Watershed. You know, it's just it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. Haggis is strong. Like, I, 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 have you guys had haggis before? Uh, once or twice. I, I should cover. I'm just covering the ears of the the little hairy haggises because, of course, we're not talking about hairy haggises. We're just talking about normal haggises. Cool. No, 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 we don't no. eat. We don't no. eat hairy haggises. <laughs> <laughs> so until they've been shaved. <laughs> well. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay that you have eight hours to edit that out. Okay. Okay. Go. 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 <laughs> California, all the Californians like, what is haggis? Like, what? Like, I don't even think sheep's <laughs> stomach full of mints. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, so you Californians don't don't look it up. <laughs> no, don't, don't. <laughs> you're not going to do yourself any favors. <laughs> so you guys should all have these seven cards for our starter game. These are like the recommended intro cards. We have the machine. We have the golem, the oracle, the sorcerer, the knight, the alchemist, and the parasite. The goal of the game is to make points, and how you make points is essentially, unless someone fudges the rules, having the highest number each time someone plays a card. So everybody plays their cards. If two people play the same card, they get cancelled, so they will negate each other's effects completely. We resolve all the cards that are not cancelled, and then whoever has the highest dice value will get two points, and whoever has the uh, next highest will get one point. Easy. Super straightforward. However, the game gets a little tricky in that once we get down to the end of the round and there's only one card left, the round will end. And if two people share the same number of victory points, they will cancel each other out. So you want to have the highest victory points, but the highest unique victory points to be able to win. So you can win, especially in a three-player game as we're going to have today, you can win being third place if you manage to make it so that first and second tie. Real strategy for those people that like to backstab and affect the game up until the last minute. <laughs> have you guys played before? I think you all have. Yes. yes. Perfect. I should have asked that before, but I'm glad <laughs> I did now. Uh, so have you got your seven cards? Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Let me gather these up because I'm going to, I'm basically playing the role of Lackey this evening. What we need to do now is decide who is getting which haggis. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask all three of you to roll your dice, which you have at home, I believe, and tell me what results you get. Honesty. <laughs> oh, look at Will being super duper honest. I appreciate. I appreciate the super, the super honesty. Where is it? There it is. Is that? Oh, it's a five. I thought it was a twelve for a second. <laughs> so what? No, I totally did not just move that and place oh, it oh, to oh, a twelve. <laughs> That's a good point. I can I could be acting like I'm being honest and just totally you cheat the whole time. Do that. All right. So tell me what you all got. I've got a one, five, and a three. three. Right, Will. Which haggis would you like to represent you in tonight's King of Twelve? Game? Oh, I I'm clearly that beautifully brunette. Haggis. This is oh, African yeah. sunrise or strawberry sunset. I like to kind of, you know, it's, or <laughs> hint, hint of cherry, if you like. Yes. Okay. So Will also is the most beautiful of Haggai. Is it Haggai? <laughs> is that the plural? I, mm, I'm not sure. I think Haggis is so unique that it's 
the same in every language, the same in every number, the same in every vicinity. Always haggis. <laughs> so three was Kelly Lee. No, three was Ben. Sorry. Yeah. Ben, who do you want? I think I have to go cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Okay. So I'm going to actually swap those around. Okay. So that's. Oh, I didn't that. see that coming. Oh. Uh, wow. He's already. That, that... <laughs> mixing I mean, mixing it up. He's already doing unexpected things. <laughs> I feel like the other guy represents me quite well after a year and a half of lockdown, to be fair. The complexion matches quite well, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't cry has confirmed actually, sorry, that the plural of haggis is actually haggis's. Haggis, 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 haggis. And Alison Burrell, fun. she does say, Alison says, thinks it's like deer. It's just haggis, singular or plural. I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, team Will, Team Strawberry Sunset, Su Susie. There you go, Will. No matter what happens, you got Susie on your side. You're already the winner. Uh, <laughs> betrayal from Susie. Oh, no. What Bree is it says, similar to? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never eaten haggis. What is it similar to? Flavor or consistency? Oh, God. Um, I mean, if you've ever had like minced and potatoes. So imagine minced meat, minced beef with vegetables, but cooked for a very long time in sh inside a sheep's stomach. So it's very strong, very flavorful. And if it's seasoned and herbed correctly, it's it's quite a nice mix, but traditionally quite stodgy. Stod is stodgy a word in America? Something yeah, stodgy. It, it, it only gets used when you're watching food TV shows and it's never good. Okay. Like that's stodgy then. <laughs> it's definitely the right word. <laughs> okay, so we're going to roll your dice for real this time. That was just for pretend for Haggis's. So the first thing you always do in King of 12 when you're playing is you roll all your dice. We're going to set the numbers of everyone's dice. Remember, this is Will. This is Ben. This is Kelly Lees. And then everyone is going to secretly choose a card. So roll your dice. Tell me what you got. Oh, I actually oh. rolled a 12. Five. <laughs> 12, 12 <laughs> for Ben. You got wow, five, how convenient. Wow. So 12 for Ben, five for Will, seven for Kelly Lee, right? Yep. Lovely. Okay. Well, if you would all like to secretly grab your seven different characters that are vying for the crown and choose which one you would like, and then secretly place it face down in front of you. Okay. And then I, once you've got your cards set, one at a time, I'm going to go around. I'm going to get these out of the way. We don't need these. And I'm going to ask each one of you what you played. And remember, if you play the same card as someone else, it's going to cancel. And what we're trying to do is get the highest number. So currently, uh, Ben's on 12, Will's on 5, and Kelly's on 7. All right. Ben and Kelly Lee are practiced. Will is ready. All right, let's start with Will. What did you play? The Oracle. The Oracle. Oh, an early roll your dice. So the Oracle for Will. Kelly Lee, what did you play? The Machine. The machine. And oh, Ben, I don't like that. What did you play? I may have shot myself in the foot with this card. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I played the knight. So this turn, the lowest die value is the winner, and the second lowest is the runner up. So you were predicting to be impacted, I assume? Yeah. <laughs> so for what these cards do, so we know that Ben is actually going to re reverse everything. So lowest value gets the most points. We have the machine, which for Kelly Lee adds seven to her die value. So her seven is going to become a 14. And Will, you now need to roll your dice and let us know what you got with the Oracle. Ben, I've always liked you. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you now. <laughs> I just rolled a two. Hey. Two! Nice. <laughs> I love it. So thanks to Ben's amazing fortune telling, <laughs> we've got the lowest score is Will with two, so he's going to get two points. And the second lowest is Kelly Lee with seven. He gets one. No, sorry. Your total's 14. So yeah, second lowest 14. is Ben with 12. Oh, my apologies. I shot myself in the foot even more than Ben did. <laughs> so it, it half worked, Ben. You can't have half predicted it. It, it was. It was yeah. yeah, it was okay. All right, let me get rid of those. And let you guys choose your new cards. So only Will's value, uh, actual dice face has changed. The other ones were just values. Mm -hmm. Oh, Susie says, I do still absolutely adore you, Kelly and Ben. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Alison actually answered very well that, that uh, Haggis is indeed very gamey tasting. It's a very good way of putting it. Much more elegant than me. Thank you very much, Alison. Much more eloquent. Thank you. <laughs> Just stodgy. <laughs> I'm not a man of 
good words. <laughs> I mean, it's it's amazing because Az actually has that on his business card. It just stodgy. says Az Drummond stodgy. If you if you poke me in the tummy, I think stodgy is kind of is, is is appropriate. I think. <laughs> I mean, again, after like after after lockdown. Oh, before lockdown, after lockdown, I have no excuses. I can't blame lockdown <laughs> for anything. Oh, the there. <laughs> if, any, if anything, I blame the entire country of Italy for making pizza and pasta. That's the reason I'm stodgy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Will, what are you playing? I'm going for the obvious, the night. Okay, so hoping to keep the low number, make it beneficial. Kelly Lee, what are you playing? The Gollum. The Gollum. All right. Ben, what are you playing? I played The Parasite. The Parasite. Ooh. <laughs> so The Parasite subtracts seven from your current die value. So Ben's 12 will become a five. The Golem, I need to quickly double check this, is your die value becomes 12. And if your die face shows 12, um, after effects, it becomes one instead. So right now, Kelly's on 12. Uh, and the knight is, we don't need to roll anything. It's just automatically going to make Lois the winner. So right as we have it, if I get this right, you're going to win again, Will. Probably. And stealing Guys, I'm second. I'm great at getting low scores. Like I'm really <laughs> good at low scores. It's a game. way to win, man. It's a way. It's it's good. Uh, but Ben's going to pick up the single point again because he's going to have five. My bad. All right. Now, there are two, there are two ways the round can end. The first way is that each player only has one card left. So once each player has played six cards, we're going to get to the end of the round. But the second way, if Will has anything to say about it, is if a player gets to eight points. And if a player gets to eight points, the round will also end. So can this continue? Now, I have never seen a round end that way. I believe in you. I believe in you, sir. Well, now it's over now that you've said that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is Ben paying you? Ben's paying you, I can tell. Yeah, just just in kindness, just in kindness. Ooh. He's he's a good egg. <laughs> All right, I know. All right, we're locked in. We're we're brave. We're bold. We're 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 energetic. Kelly Lee's sorry, locked in. Yeah. Now, now 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 you put this pressure on me. Now I'm stressing. <laughs> oh, sorry. They're in cahoots. They're in. They're I in know cahoots, clearly, you, right? Do I dare? <laughs> So you one thing what? to remember, of course, that when you play a card, it's gone forever. So if you are very good at keeping track of what people have played, I'm not. I'm not one of those people. But if you are, you absolutely can play to cancel or play to avoid them and try and predict what they're going to do, which is great for using those knights or those oracles or those uh, the cards that flip dice. Okay, Will, what have you got? I'm counting on somebody else to play that knight because I'm going Parasite. Parasite. Oh, this is going to be a big minus five. Well, we. Kelly Lee. Come on. Ow. <laughs> oh, is that another parasite? another parasite? So I thought we cancel. agreed. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben? I went for the alchemist. The alchemist. Oh, wow. Finally, it's come good. So. <laughs> What will happen is both parasites will cancel each other, so they will not take place at all. They are gone. Get rid of those. And we'll have the alchemist doubling Ben's dice value, giving Ben 24, Kelly Lee 7, and Will 2. I'm sorry, Will, I scudded you. Commentator's curse, man. I'm sorry. So That's okay. I, 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 blame, I blame Ben. <laughs> I blame Ben all the time. It's, it's fair, yeah. so I mean, you, you can't you can't trust the cookies and cream haggis. You just can't. <laughs> cookies and cream haggis? How very dare you? Shame on you, sir. <laughs> so two points to Ben, uh, one point to Kelly Lee. So puts us on four will, uh, four for Ben and one for Kelly Lee. Right. Get your cars locked in. I'm quite surprised that before that was that was the first time we had a match, actually. You guys have actually been relatively unique in your strategic thinking which i like you do have quite different die totals having a very high die a very low die and a middling die so it's interesting that none of you have rushed a certain direction i actually quite like this mm -hmm. we're locked in we're locked in we're locked in okay will what did you play the golem it's a golem so your die value becomes 12. kelly lee it's the alchemist Admit. Double your die value, which would currently put Kelly Lee on 14 if it stays. And Ben? I played the Sorcerer. The Sorcerer. Oh, interesting. 
So you have an action to do, Ben, which is to rotate your dice to any of the five adjacent sides. So I had a dice to hand, but I don't know what it is. Oh, here it is. So you're on 12, so it could be an 11, a 10, an 8, a 7, or a 9. Uh, I'm going to turn it up to 11. Turn it up to 11! <laughs> ben, ben, have I told you you're the best lately? Because you are the best. <laughs> you're the best around. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> that you was that was unfortunate. Yeah, um, that was unfortunate. It's okay. Man. After after my uh, uh, my Bert from Mary Poppins, no one's watching. It's fine. Oh, it's, uh, dude, you're gonna have a whole new fan base you never even knew of. Get your only fan page going. <laughs> the uh, the impressions the impressions page needs to be opened, man. <laughs> so fourteen is going to see Kelly Lee put three points, uh, put a total of three on her board now, and then uh, if I'm right, Ben's action unfortunately meant well, not unfortunately. Unfortunately for him, but fortunately for Will, gives Will a point. So we're on five for Will, three for Kelly Lee, and four for Ben. Wow, this got really tight all of a sudden. Now, don't forget, if your score matches, it gets cancelled. And if all three of you match scores, it's going to probably break the stream. So please don't do that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> there was a certain appreciation for Martin Russell saying a spinal tap and then karate kid combo. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, when is the next season of Cobra Kai coming? I am ready. I am ready. Ben is ready. I may be making poor decisions, but at least I'm making them quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm scraping the, the bottom of my barrel here. <laughs> so this, this is the penultimate round, so there'll be one more after this, as long as someone doesn't hit eight. Um, so, Will, what are you playing? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. So that'll be rotating your die to any side. Kelly Lee. <gasps> the sorcerer. Oh, no. Oh, no. And well, we know Ben doesn't have a sorcerer. So, Ben. Oh, my God. The machine. The machine. The machine. So that's going to put Ben. Uh, so two sorcerers will cancel. We'll get rid of those first. That's going to put Ben on 18. Kelly Lee on 7. And Will on 2. So that's two points for Ben, putting him on six. One point for Killer Lee, putting her on four. And Will still on five. This is ridiculously tight, and there's one round left. I love everything about it. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I don't know if any of you noticed at home, by the way. I hope someone noticed at home that I did match the sets of player colors to the Haggis as well. Unfortunately, we don't, we don't sell the Haggis with your copy of King of Twelve. I'm very sorry to say. You'll have to come to Scotland to get your own. Expansion pack later on. <laughs> Don't even tease. Don't even tease. <laughs> we released a, a small teaser trailer that wasn't really meant to be released today for Divinus because uh, our lovely CEO at Lucky Duck Games, Vince, did an amazing like two minute long voiceover talking all about Divinus and getting everyone excited for the game. And it's an amazing trailer. It's going to be great. But it just so happens that his wonderful, glorious, silky French accent happens to pronounce Pantheon as Puffin. So. <laughs> So now I am fighting for plushy puffins uh, to be part of, <laughs> part of the campaign, or at least part of Lucky Duck Games' future. So a, 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 a game found uh, uh, only puffin god that you add in. Don't yeah, exactly. even tease! <laughs> exactly. Like, if, oh, if I could make it happen, if I can get you know, the you budget, just get, get like the the Aries, so it has like really defined abs, and just the rest of it's just puffin. <laughs> so you have, have a Greek version or, or a Nordic version. So, but <laughs> yes, this is it. We need both, right? And then, uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Okay. I mean, you can you can just you can just tell him that you know if he doesn't want to make two million, he doesn't have to use that idea. You know. <laughs> There is a severe lack of board game puffins, you know. There, I just want to say this. Unless, if anyone knows in chat any puffins in board games, please let me know. I would love to know. Anyway, all your cards are locked in for the last round, and we're all aware of the fact that you don't want to get joint points at the end. Yeah, I yep. don't want any nasty shocks, right? Will, what are you playing? I'm counting on you, Ben. No, Kelly, I'm just going alchemist. Going alchemist. Counting on that night. Come on. I don't know. What does Kelly Lee say? She says Oracle. She keeps her knight, oh. does not play it. Ben. I right, Gollum. Gollum. <gasps> so there's no need to change anything except, and this is actually really important. So right now, Ben is on an official 12. Yeah, that's right. Will is on four. Kelly Lee, depending on how your die rolls with your Oracle here, 
this could completely change the outcome of this round. Okay. No Let's pressure. See. Thank you. No this, is, no this is up on ESPN 13 right now. Oh. Like the announcers are going crazy. Wait, ESPN goes as high as 13? I don't know. I just assume it must. <laughs> oh, typically. Okay, what is it? It's is it 12? 12. Are you kidding? <laughs> it was a 12. It Are you was. serious? It I confirm. Really I don't know what's about to happen because <laughs> that puts you at 12. That puts Ben at 12. Which means you cancel each other, which means Will's going to get two points, which is going to put Will to seven, which means Will's going to win the round. <laughs> yeah. I take back I everything like I said about you, Kelly. You are the best. <laughs> ben, I don't know what you've been doing. Get That's so funny. Because if you had won, no, if you had come second, Ben would have won. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love it. That's, I can't believe it. There was definitely just a one in 12 chance that that exact outcome happened. Well done. Yep. Okay. So, Will, what you need to do is take one of your seven cards, put it face down on the table, not to be used in the next round. Now, don't tell me which one you're going to do. I'm just going to grab a card and put it here to represent it. But you'll be playing one less card next turn. Got it. And I'm going to, so that one card that's basically sitting under the haggis, I'm going to put it just here, that represents your one victory point of one round. The first player to win two rounds wins the game. But Ben, I'm oh, sorry, Will is down one card now. Uh, we will stop the next round one round earlier, though, one turn earlier, because Will does have one less card. All right, let me get these all back. Make sure I don't mix them up. Hmm. I would love for like a week, just for like a week, to be a dealer at like a blackjack table, just for the chat and the banter <laughs> and the fun and the until somebody loses a lot of money and then I probably wouldn't enjoy it anymore because I'm very bad at being mean to people. Well, the, the, <laughs> then then you just have to not make eye contact because you know um, I, I'm close enough to Vegas that that's where when well when I was younger when bachelor parties would happen to be always go to Vegas and mm -hmm. that's what would happen around the table like if people were winning they're like oh they're laughing and talking and then sort of people start losing they just boom down they just like slide the cards <laughs> out they don't talk and they go really fast <laughs> please just lose enough to leave please just lose enough to leave please just lose enough to leave <laughs> have you heard of craps it's a great game please leave my table don't get mad <laughs> there are many okay. games in Vegas you should try any others. I was very lucky, actually, funny enough, Blackwing Bird in chat, aka Bree, actually taught me how to play craps. Because I, I uh, when I was in Reno for Gamma in 2018, and I was so nervous, because one of the things you have to do is you have to roll the dice the whole length of the table so they hit the wall at the back. And I was so nervous because I didn't want to hit any chips. I didn't want to knock the dice off. And I didn't want to do anything that would negatively infect the game. And I was like, gently rolling the dice. And she was like, no, no, you have to throw them. And I was like, e. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that your job is literally board games and dice. And that's what held you up. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, I don't think you go to bed. Hold on, guys. I, I got <laughs> dice. Okay. I got this. What do you want? You want a five? Boom, five. Like that's what I was expecting from this story. <laughs> yeah, here, yeah. I roll dice for a living. I've got this instead of like I'm so sorry for knocking stuff over. <laughs> <laughs> Martin has a great question in chat, and the answer is absolutely yes. Can you combine two boxes of this to play with sixty-eight players? You can, and there are actually custom rules for it. There are actually custom rules and tournament rules, basically, for King of 12. If you really are into your card counting, predicting, trying to get in the minds of the other players, um, and they're epic, if a little bit crazy at times. And thank yeah, you, I was kind of hoping at the big uh, next big convention where Lucky Duck is, you'd sponsor like a tournament of this with a, some kind of prize at the end. Don't even tease. I adore I'm that idea. I'm totally serious. I think that'd be great. <laughs> That's that's the second amazing new convention idea we had. The last one was to have a cooperative uh, competition for King of Kingdom Rush, where we set up like 10 tables of Kingdom Rush in a row with pairs of people. And what you would have to do is everyone would be given the same scenario, but they'd only be told as they're playing what's coming. And all 10 tables would have the same incredibly difficult scenario to play, and it would be the last table standing. Oh, that's fun uh, too. Right? <laughs> hey, I love these ideas, man. This is I And the I, winner I, gets the puffin with the great abs art. Be still my beating like, heart. Like a life-size cutout, you know? Cardboard cutout? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
You've no idea how much I want that. There are many plushies <laughs> behind me. Should we start a petition or something? <laughs> oh, dude, like just, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, second round of, of the first game. Let's do this. Get your cards, folks. Same cards again. We haven't changed the, the seven characters. The only thing we've changed is that Will has one less to play. He set that aside. Um, everything else is the same. But in the second game we play, we're going to mix it up and get some of the more tech that and more vicious cards. If Will wins this time, he steals the game, but if Kelly Lee or Ben wins, we're going to go into another round. Okay. Did Get your roll, cards. Did we re-roll the dice at this stage? Have oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. You should absolutely re-roll the dice at this stage and absolutely 100% tell me what you roll. Oh, okay. I rolled an 11 again. Well, ben, oh, make my, make my life very easy. What'd you get, Will? 12. Oh, Kelly Lee, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. Oh. Last of the big rollers. We're changing it up this time. This will be interesting. Maybe get a bit more conflict in the first rounds. Okay. And it's funny because one of the things Will says we were setting up is that you that's kind of times you played this, you had much more aggressive cards in your pool. Yeah, the last time when I was fl flipping through, the last time I played, it was just pretty much all of the other cards in. and <laughs> It was all the was ones that attack other players. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Which, to be honest, is re the, the designer of this game, Rita Moldal, she says those are her favorite cards. She really likes some nice cards, but generally speaking, the cards that impact others are her favorites. So you're right there with the designer of the game. Maximum chaos. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right? Uh, okay, Will, what are you doing? I'm alchemisting. You're alchemisting. Okay. So doubling your die values for a potential 24. Kelly Lee. No! Oh, no! <laughs> wow. The knight comes out, which means... Well, I'll put it there. No, I'll, put it, I'll, keep, I'll keep it up here. The knight comes out, which means the lowest value is going to be the winner. And Ben... If he plays another knight, this could ruin the whole day. Oh, come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. With a machine. Oh, the machine. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> so, usually, the 24 of Will and the 8 team of Ben would be really strong here, but Kelly has played the Knight, so the lo lowest is going to win. So Kelly on eight, you'll get two points, and Ben on eighteen, you'll get one. All right. Yeah, now I've really got it in my head. Now I'm like, no, I can actually feel myself flicking the cards the way they do it. Because he knows where it like they properly flick it down. <laughs> yeah. I'm like flicking it aside, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel it. When they yeah. like, slide them across the table when they're dealing them, it's like, perfectly. Into place. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, second cards. I really do need to get the promo cards. If, if you order this on our website or you get it from retailers that ordered it as part of the pre-order, we have two promo cards that are added into the game that add two more characters to the 12. And I actually just realized I've never added them into a game yet. I really need to. Mm. Okay, Will's locked in fast this time. I know. Well, my, 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 my options, it's interesting. Having a 12, I feel like my options are very slim. Uh, okay, that makes sense, right? Mm. So what have you chosen? I have gone with the machine. Okay. Kelly Lee. Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Boom, boom, boom. And Ben. I've gone for the alchemist. Okay, so the only action that needs to happen is, Kelly, you have to change your dice to one of the five die faces beside it. What do you want to change to? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I haven't thought this far ahead yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what are, the, what are the options? We've got an, a 2, a 7, a 12, a 10, or a 4. Right now, neither of the gentlemen are actually going to finish on their uh, dice because Will's going to go to 19 yeah, and exactly. Ben's going to go to 22. So there's not even like you could try and cancel anyone, unfortunately. No, exactly. Well, I'll... I'll, mm, I'll go to a 10. Uh, no, where, where was I? Oh. 7. You're on, a, you're on an 8. So you can go to 10, yeah, if you like. Yeah, I'll go to a 10. All right. Set up for the future rounds. So that means we're going to have Ben take two points and we'll take one. And we're on to the next turn. Oh, man, Ben's running away with this. He is indeed, actually. Nice. <laughs> so what, uh, uh, what, what are the numbers out there? I have a 12 and... 
an 11 and a 10. So 12, 12 on yourself, 10 on Kelly Lee, and 11 on Ben. Everything's a little bit slanted. Hold on a minute. Can we? What's going on there, camera? There we go. It's a little bit less slanted now. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Ben's in. Kelly Lee's in. Will's in. Right, Will, what have you got? I have the Sorcerer. Okay, so looking to switch your die feeds. Kelly Lee. The Alchemist. So doubling the dice value. And Ben. I've gone for the Knight. Oh, bold. So the lowest values are going to win. <laughs> Kelly Lee's on a nice 20. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's on 11 and we have a changeable dice face for you Will, where do you want to go? Well, I think I'm just going to go ahead and make myself a 7 Thank you, Ben <laughs> You're welcome The bromance continues <laughs> We have a very, a very volatile relationship, you know, I love him I hate him, it's just <laughs> it's, it's always full of emotion though, and that's the main thing, right? Full of passion <laughs> Okay, let me get rid of these I don't like that we're tied now. I don't like that. Yeah. Um, did I do the points right? What have I done? Did I do the points wrong? Oh no! no I think did. Ben's Ben's got Ben's yeah, got ben. four. Kelly's got two, and Will, you have three. Oh oh oh! Yeah, he okay. has four. I thought he had three. Yeah, it's got a little. My flood. My lighting is terrible this evening. You have to forgive me, chat. That I'm going. I promise I'm going to work on improving it for the next live stream because uh, I've got like floodlights in the room right now. Everywhere you look, there's like football player haggis, like just <laughs> shining everywhere. Oh, light, lighting's so hard to get it right. Is, yeah. Yeah, I've. Uh, it's funny because right behind chat, you don't know this chat, but right behind you, there's a big window which I have to struggle with the light not coming in. And over there, around the corner, there's a window, and then it's like a very small space for lighting, and I'm, I'm struggling a bit. But I'm gonna. It'll be a weekend project. I'll fix it. It's all right. Everyone will be outside enjoying the sun, having barbecues, enjoying me out of lockdown, and I'll be locked in my office doing lighting. Can't wait. I generally can't wait. <laughs> 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 okay, get your cards in. So just as a reminder, on the dice values, uh, you've got seven on Will, 10 on Kelly Lee, and 11 on Ben. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Will's locked in. I'm Ben's locked good in. About it. Kelly's locked in. All right, Will, what are you feeling good about? The night. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Kelly Lee. No. Oh, she called it. <laughs> wow. No. Has Ben. Come on. Tell me you did it too, Ben. No. Let's see. You know I did it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't see. You. Oh, you did. <laughs> 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 oh wow so the two parasites are going to cancel each other out which would have given both of you points to be fair nah. um, and what will happen instead is we'll see 7 for Will getting 2 points and then the 10 for Kelly Lee getting 1 point we both called it though we both, <laughs> we both called, called it, it. <laughs> we both called it right so that puts us points wise 3 for Kelly Lee 4 for Ben 5 for Will and this, if I'm right, is the last round. Because, Will, you just have two cards left, right? That's correct. That's right. So this is the last round. And you're very tight on points again. Oh, my word. No. Okay. Cool. That was quick decision making. Will. <laughs> I have the golem. The golem. Kelly Lee. The machine. The machine. Oh boy, Ben. The golem. Oh no. <laughs> so we're going to see both the golems cancel each other. Tragic. Is it tragic though? Let's. I don't know if it's going to be tragic. I have no idea. Math is really hard. So I have no uh, idea. Guys, you're about to break my brain because this is what's about <laughs> to happen. Kelly Lee. <laughs> Kelly Lee goes to 17. And gets two points. Ben gets one point. And guys, you're all tied on five oh, points of each. <laughs> After five rounds, you all average three points per round. And it's on five apiece. I hold on. 
I have to consult the rule book. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what to do with my life. What what happens if everybody ties? Um okay. I don't, I, the the, I believe it's the person who lives the furthest away from the person hosting the stream wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very rare rule, but I think it's fair. Um, so if any players have the exact same number of points as another player, all those players' points are cancelled and returned as supply. After cancelling points, the player with the most remaining points is the winner. If all players' points are cancelled, then there is no round winner. Proceed directly to the next round. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 pounds. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's a gut check, isn't it? Wow. Oh, what? <laughs> that was that was awesome. I love everything about it. That makes me so happy. Uh, okay, you guys are up again. <laughs> How did we manage that? <laughs> that was epic. I'm like, that's like, a, I'm going to watch this back later and just see how that progressed. <laughs> I actually generally, like, I, as as the as the dealer here, I am seeing some nice plays. I'm definitely seeing people making decisions when they know something's being played and trying to predict a little bit. And I actually think you're all being too good right now and actually thinking in the same lines and uh, at the right moments. It's actually <laughs> awesome to watch. Um, okay, so let me grab everyone's cards. Right, oh, and that, that's a good roll. Let me tell what you. What did we get on the new dice? Nine. Nine oh. for Will. I also got a nine. Nine for Ben. Well, would you? Would you? Would you stop? <laughs> Haven't we learned? <laughs> uh, and Kelly Lee on your dice. Four. Sorry. Four. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, Rita. Rita will love this. Absolutely will, Brie. I think you're 100 percent right. <laughs> A <laughs> classic three-way, says Martin. They're all just that good, says Susie. <laughs> all right, get your first cards locked in. Right, speed round this time. We're going to go rattle through this and see if Ben can claim his second or if we're going to go on to a fourth round. Ben's ready. No, Will, sorry, needs the second. Forgive me. I did. That's incredible. I love that. So that's really made my night. Okay, we're locked in. Will, what have you got? Alchemist. Alchemist. Okay, Kelly Lee, what have you got? Golem. The Golem. So the Alchemist is doubling Will's total to 18. The Golem is giving Kelly Lee an effective 12. And Ben? Come on, Golem, oh. Ben. Golem. Oh, oh, leaves it up to the chance. Leaves it up to the roll of the dice. All right, Ben, give it a roll. Oh, okay. I rolled an eight. An eight. So on the dice, just as so everyone knows, Kelly Lee's on a four, Will's on a nine, and Ben's on an eight. But on the values, we've got 18 for Will, 12 for Kelly Lee. So they're going to be our two point and one point scores for this round. Okay. I like I like that you guys had the same dice values and immediately one of you was like, no, I want to change my dice values straight away. <laughs> I, like, I, like, I like that. I mean, it, it makes sense because the, the risk of just having your dice being the same value ruining your scoring is, is a real thing. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hold it so it's not actually covering my face too much. <laughs> All right. What you got, Will? Gollum. Gollum. So an effective 12, Kelly Lee. Night. Oh, I like it. Ben. Sorcerer. Oh, we get different cards again. Uh, and the control really lies with you, Ben, because you've got an 8, which means you can change that with the Sorcerer to a 2, 4, 7, 12, or 10. And the Knight means that lowest is scoring in this round. Yeah, I think I'm going to go 2. <laughs> Gonna go there too. What? <laughs> <laughs> Taking advantage of the sorcerer knight combo to get two points. Kennedy's gonna get one, and unfortunately, Will, your twelve would have been fantastic without the knight, but is ruined. Okay, I know you're all tied on two points. Can you please stop this? <laughs> <laughs> stop it now. <laughs> We're having like too you, much fun. We should keep going. You're all in cahoots. You're all like, just like, yeah, let's just tie all the time. Yeah, we actually have this set up to uh, tie exactly for the next twelve games in a row. So if you're just 
<laughs> an internal loop. This is my Dante's Inferno. This is my seven stages of hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what have you got? The machine. The machine. Putting you from an effective nine to an effective 16. Kelly Lee. The Oracle. The Oracle, leaving it up to the roll of the dice. And Ben. I've gone for the Golem. With an effective 12. So right now, Will 16 is definitely winning with Ben on the 12, but the roll of the Oracle dice, what are we going to get? Can you 12 again? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Do you just roll a 12? I just rolled a 12. Are you... <laughs> I genuinely just rolled a 12. <laughs> <laughs> So that's going to work out really well for you, Will, because now you're going to get two points for your 16. And Ben and Kelly Lee, you're getting nothing. Nothing. I'm so sorry. Nothing at all. Single tier. I have a single tier. No, I, I, don't, I don't have a tier at all. I didn't think in California that tears were a thing. They just dried and evaporated. In the well, sun yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I can't cry because we're in a drought right now, and that's I'd get fined. <laughs> Shouldn't shouldn't laugh about that. No, that you bet. Fun. <laughs> okay, so we're I three mean, rounds. Maybe, in. maybe just cry out. Oh, <laughs> just yeah. You can share your emotions here. Well, you're in a safe place where we're going to try and steal all your points. So as long as I collect the tears, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I can drink them later. Ma ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, what have you got? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. Kelly Lee. Machine. Machine. Uh, I mean, if if he hasn't played it already, I'm predicting a knight from our man Ben here. Let's see. It is a knight. Yeah, time. man. <laughs> That's what I was hoping was going to happen. Seems yeah. legit. Now, the power plays in Will's hands. You're on a nine which means you can change to, if I get my dice right, an 11, 12, 7, 3, or 5. And uh, he's at a 2, is that right? Yep. Ben's at a 2, yeah. Kelly's on 12. Well, I guess I'm going for a 3. Love it. So with a knight in play, that's going to give 2 points to Ben. 1 point to Will. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Right, we are on. If I'm right, you've got two cards left, Will? That's correct. So this is the final round. There is still a chance for a two-way tie. We could still see Will and Ben tying. And if they do score the same victory points at the end, it means Kelly Lee would win. So that would be the worst. Literally, as Chris has just come in and be like, yay, Kelly Lee, win this, win this. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no pressure. Chris, I thought we were friends. <laughs> So Kelly Lee, if you can play your cards in such a way that you'll give Ben the win and Will second, you know that would be you know, for the time <laughs> loop. The time loop would appreciate that. I'm not saying I would, but the time loop would. <laughs> what is my camera doing? It keeps going for little walks. There we go. Get back there. Okay. Oh no! Now I feel bad because now I feel like I've affected Kelly Lee's decision. <laughs> Uh, oh no! I don't want to be part of this. Thanks. I don't want to be. I don't want to jinx you, please. No, I'm just me. gonna stay. Okay, so it's not my fault. I'm cleansed of anything that's about to happen. That's what you're saying. Will, night, night on a three. It's a good play. It's a good play that, if nothing else changes, <laughs> would give would give Ben six points and you six points. Kelly, I'm Lee. counting on Ben going high though. I'm counting on him. Alchemist. The Alchemist. That's a grand total of 24. Yeah. But the knight is in play. Here we go. I if Ben almost, if Ben has played the Alchemist. I almost played the Parasite. <gasps> almost. <laughs> <laughs> but I went the other way. No! Machine. Machine. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Because of your three cards, two of them would have resulted, I believe, in Kelly Lee winning this. Uh, because what's going to happen now is going to have Lois winning. You're on an effect of nine. Kelly Lee's on an effect of 24. <laughs> uh, and that puts Will on an effect of three. So two points for Will. One point for Ben. Will takes his second round. Well done, sir. Oh, bye. Well done. 
Oh, that was far more tense than I was ready for. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Which card, Will, did you actually set aside to not use, may I ask? The Parasect. The pa oh, interesting. I thought you'd got rid of the Oracle, but then, because I don't think you played it. No, no, it did, didn't come up, which is it's interesting because I won, what, uh, I think I won two rounds that time with the low yep. score, yet I didn't actually have my low score card. That's hilarious. I love everything about it. Okay, let me clear up the points. Okay, so now we have to decide, you know, because that was just a warm up. That was the play nice game. That was the. I think that's the warm up, and we're just all like. <sighs> <laughs> it's totally drained. Oh no, what's going to happen now? <laughs> well, now we have to put the shenanigans in, right? <laughs> now we have to put the cards in that really make things super duper duper interesting and horrible. So we have the gambler. The troublemakers, who I personally absolutely adore, the reverser, the lady, and the merchants. Right, chat. This is coming out to you all. Uh, Susie, just say, "Oh yeah, Team Strawberry Sunset." Good job, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris is like, "Play nice." What's that all about? I've seen you <laughs> play nice. You've played nice before, Chris. You can't lie to me. And Juju from Martin. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> I love the irony of the charity board gamer who's like, be mean. Yeah. <laughs> What's this play nice you talk about? Yeah. <laughs> so, chat. There's I no want nice you, charity. <laughs> I want you to suggest which one of these cards, and if it's just on how pretty the art is, I'm absolutely fine with that. But I'll, I'll read out very quickly what each of them do so people know at home. So, the gambler, if we put it in, says this turn the winner is instead the runner up, and the runner up is instead the winner. That one's just going to confuse me. So, if you want to confuse me, that's the card you want. <laughs> the troublemakers are all players rotate their dice to the opposite side. Not going to lie, probably one of my favorite cards in the whole game because it's just nonsense. It just creates madness. The reverser is simply rotate your die to the opposite side. So just yourself, not everybody. The merchants is each player passes their die clockwise to the next player. This effect occurs first. So it occurs before anything else happens. That's a madness card. <laughs> that, that is a real game changer. And then finally, the lady is one of the most interesting, kind of slightly complicated, but really good for people who can try and predict their opponent's play because it says the lady cancels all other cards. However, if the lady is cancelled, because two of them are played, the lady player with the lowest die value may take a point token of their choice. So that's either a one or a two. A point token of their choice from the lady player with the highest die value. And in the case of the tie, you ignore it. So I just threw it on the floor. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that, lady. So that's the card that really works well for the players that like a bit of stealing, a bit of shenanigans, a bit of tech that, and a bit of uh, messing with the other players if they can play it right. Uh, Martin says, got to go with the merchants or the troublemakers, surely. I must admit, like the troublemakers, the merchant is... It's a little tough for you guys because obviously seeing the dice values is super important, but I think we could do it. And Chris says, I do play nice, but I'm all for Will and Ben going down. <laughs> That's good. I, I can play nice, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'll take it. Thanks, Chris. Do you know what? I think putting the troublemakers in and I think putting the merchants in sounds like fun. What do you guys think? Sounds good. Do that. Yeah. So what do we what do we think in terms of cards we want to take out then? Because we have to we have to play mm. with the knight, and we also, if I remember the rules right, we need to have at least two cards with the dice symbol on the top, and we definitely have that with the troublemakers. So I would suggest taking out the oracle and the golem because they're a little that. bit random, a little bit boring. These cards are going to put in a bit of madness. How do you feel about that? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Works so, for me. We're going to get rid of the oracle and golem. These are gone for this round. And we're going to put in, at Martin's request, I love it, we're going to put in the Troublemakers and the Merchants. So let me sort this out because I'm going to just manage all of your three little hands here. Yeah, this is going to be very different, I think. So the Golem and the Oracle. And this is where Kelly Lee and Ben show that they are professionals at this game. <laughs> They've been counting cards this whole time. Oh, They're just... <laughs> So merchants and troublemakers there. And some merchants and some troublemakers for there. All right. 
I want to know what the story is behind the parasite image here. Like, well, here's the thing: is he I'm okay a- with that? Does he not realize <laughs> that's happening? Like, what is going on here? I unfortunately don't know enough about the lore of King of Twelve, but I can tell you there is a lore, there is a story, and there's a world because actually Rita Model has announced already that Council of Twelve is coming, and there's the world's being continued, the characters are being evolved, there's some new characters being introduced, and it's being built up some more with a slightly different game. And Council of Twelve is a cooperative game that uses yeah. similar mechanics to you see in King of Twelve, and you might have seen in games like The Crew, where you're working together quietly not giving out full information to each other, trying to play cards to affect the main council dice, this big, big green council dice, and you're trying to get it to fit to objectives. You're trying to basically get the council working together to reach goals. So for example, you might wanna get the dice to a certain number, or you might want to get it first low and then high in the same turn by paying the cards. And it has the same mechanisms of not wanting to match, otherwise you cancel each other. So it's this, but cooperative with extra levels of objectives and strategy. It's really cool in its it early stages like it. right now. Like um, so yeah, I don't know enough, Will, unfortunately, to know why exactly the Parasite has a great big sucky thing in his back and if he's okay with it. But I really hope we get to find out at some point. I do <laughs> love the art on the Troublemakers card as well. It is just super cute. The Generally, game, yeah. Yeah, the little foxes. Yeah, it's so cute. Uh, the art in the game is stunning, isn't it? Really. It's and it's yeah. exactly... it's. Uh, it's Robin Robin again, who's doing all the artwork for um, oh, this wrong around, for Council of Twelve as well. So it's really nice to see them carrying on with the same team. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the uh, the sorcerer art. It's just the uh, you know, it's just like the normal classic sorcerer, but then it's, yeah, it's got sunglasses. You know, like yeah. you do. Yeah, he's the Fawns. He's the Fawn sorcerer, right? He's like, hey, <laughs> hey, fireball, hey. <laughs> <laughs> But, okay. You know, I I did the uh, the bad uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, as you, can we hear your American accent? I do. We see here which part of America, right? I don't know. Like you, you pick a- any any part. Just pick any one. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> <laughs> For I was all... playing. I was, I was playing a game with a uh, Mark Dainty from Not Board Gaming. Oh. And, uh, we were no. That's what we were recording a, a podcast, and so he he was doing his um. His accent, which was a combination of John Wayne and uh, Sean Penn from Fast Times at Ridgemont High, it was like you took those two and smashed them together, and that's what you got. <laughs> I, I, as someone who needs to obviously, you know, re- rise above this common folk kind of humor that you know could offend my lovely compatriots in America, I best, I better not. Uh... <laughs> Indulge in mocking them with my terrible, terrible accents. And I have a hard enough time pronouncing French names and Polish names with all of my lovely colleagues at Lucky Duck Games, and I get so much ribbing about that. There's just a Z where there doesn't need to be one. There's an L that sounds like a W. I can't cope. <laughs> okay. Second game. This is it. This is for all the haggis. All right. I know you won the first one, Will, and I don't want to take anything away from you, but this is the Haggis Cup. You know, this is this is the one that matters. Oh, amazing roll from me to start oh. off. What's that, Ben? It's a two. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't... I don't... Like what have you got? Me, please. It's also a two. <laughs> and also a two for Kelly and Will? A seven. A seven. All right. Well, rolling the same number is not as bad in this one because we've got so many different cards that can affect the dice because we've still got the sorcerer but now we've got the merchants which means you can be passing your dice and we've got uh oh we did oh we kept the sorcerer okay and we've got the troublemakers so retaining dice is a thing so there's some more dice manipulation happening all right oh thank you so much kim says fun stream fun stream (laughs) (laughs) hashtag fun stream thank you how are the olympics going kim Give me an update. How many medals have you won? I hope it's a lot. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, right. Get your first cards locked in, folks. I will will just so you know, by the way, I am also rooting for you because of Strawberry Sunset Haggis. I can't, he's like my brethren, you know, I feel connected to him. So bring it <laughs> home, man. Bring it home. Oh the pressure. Sorry. No, no offense meant my shipmates, Ben and Kelly Lee, but us gingers, we have to stick together, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm trying to read into the minds of the future. 
here. And for I should say, so we're going to do the clockwiseness by the current haggis seating situation. So if anyone's moving the dice <laughs> clockwise, it's according to our trio of Haggai. Okay. All right. Will, what are you playing? I'm hoping someone played a knight because I want Parasite. <gasps> you doubled down on the seven to go to zero. Uh -huh. And you did that because they're both on two. Interesting. Kelly Lee. Troublemakers. <gasps> ben. Knight. Knight. <gasps> yes! <laughs> what? Well, so I'm in your heads. I was like, just... get out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, let me get this right. So we have to do the troublemakers. All players are going to rotate their dice to the opposite side. So that means that uh we have Will going to a six. We have Kelly Lee going to an eleven, and Ben going to an eleven. Then we have the Parasite kicking in for Will to take you to minus one. And the Knight kicking in for Ben, meaning that the lowest score wins. And because you guys are matching, only Will will score. Wow, we, sir. Well done. I was counting on you changing your something. Well, but I was counting on you Also, not yours. a Knight. To be <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You, I thought you were going to change yours. I thought you were going to change yours. <laughs> Kim says, so Olympics update. No medals yet. We should play sometime. I'm trying to get uh, Will to join us tonight. I stole Will tonight. See, Will, you're in so much demand. See, I told you. Oh, well, the, the, uh, she, she's talking about uh, American tonight, so I got time. <gasps> Damn, you time travelers are so such messers, man. <laughs> <laughs> at least they only count if you play the game not not how well you play oh i love it kim it's all about just playing taking part right that's what it's all about i i always love the participation medal because it's the only medal i ever won but i wore it with pride okay folks will's on two kelly and ben on zero the dice are six to will and 11 on both the kelly's and ben's let's have those cards kelly Lee is fast this time Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been very impressed, Will. You've been very good at predicting it so far. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's unfair. Maybe I shouldn't have brought the couple, like the couple onto stream. <laughs> you know, that's kind of like I, I've maybe doomed you by doing that. I do apologize, guys. <laughs> maybe. I, now I'm, I'm feeling intense pressure right now. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, Will, what have you got? Merchants. Merchants. So that means, so for the first time we're seeing this, each player will pass their die clockwise to the next player, and it always happens first before anything else, as long as no one else plays the merchants, of course. Kelly Lee. The machine. The machine. I could see a merchants coming out from Ben here. I really could. I really could. Are we going to see it? Machine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, oh, that's utter chaos. But that's that is utter utter oh, chaos. God. So what's going to happen what is all the dice are going to get moved. So we're going to have the eleven come to Will and eleven go to Kelly Lee and the six go to Ben. Did I get that right? I think I got that right. Why? Where are you going, camera? Get back here, you crazy! Ah oh, man, there we go. So six on Ben is going to get cancelled with the machine on Kelly Lee's eleven. So they're both going to get cancelled because of the two machines, but the two 11s on the dice now are going to get cancelled, leaving the six with Ben as actually being the only unique scorer and getting two points. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is not going the same as the first game at all. <laughs> okay. I didn't even have to say that. Did you know, did you notice, chat? They all went heads down, super quiet, super thinking about it. I didn't even have to say anything this time. It was just like it got real. <laughs> like, oh, it was I all fun this. and games until Ben won with the six. <laughs> now, it's, <laughs> now it's real. Oh, I love it. The chat, the chat are making some Olympic game tabletop game meets. I adore it. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, Will, what have you got, sir? Alchemist. Alchemist. So that is doubling your die value. Kelly Lee. Whoops. Sorcerer. Interesting. So that'll be rotating your die face to one of the adjacent five sides. And Ben. Merchants. <gasps> the merchants. 
So the merchants are going to happen first. So again, if I get this right, 11 goes to Will, 6 goes to Kelly Lee, and 11 goes to Ben. Your dice value will is just going to automatically get doubled to 22, as it was before, so that's fine. But Kelly, you have your dice to change from a 6 to either, if I get this right, a 1, 4, a 10, 11, or a 5. <laughs> Are you going to be that person? <laughs> well, I Come on, be ben, that person. Ben is on 11. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Everyone would be Everyone's on 11. On 11. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you want to put right. everybody on the list? Although Will has doubled for this round, so we'll be on yeah. 22 this round, but do you want to put everyone's dice values on 11? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> for the lols. I just, do you know what? Let's just do it just, just because. Just because. <laughs> just because. And from now on, the Troublemakers <laughs> card gets called the Kelly Lees. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm turning you to an 11, yeah? Yeah, just for the chaos. Why not? I love it. So... <laughs> Because because the other option was you go to a lower number and Ben yeah. gets a point, right? And we don't want Ben to have a point. Yeah, no, right? that, that's not. We can't. No, don't give him <laughs> <laughs> So that puts all the dice on 11, but the alchemist for Will will double it. So you will get 22. So it does mean you will score and put you to four points to Ben's two to Kennedy's zero currently. Move these out of the way a bit. And then get these out of the way. So this is now... Everybody in 11, it's really going to come down to what card you play so, so, so much. If anybody matches at this stage and cancels each other, this could be <laughs> rough. <laughs> oh, Susie, no, work getting in the way of games is never good. Boo. Exactly. You just have to be like As and make work games. Right? I'm living the dream, man. Living the oh. dream, man. I'm a lucky pup. All right, Will, what have you got? I'm counting on them. I got the knight. Oh, you're counting on not matching and being the lowest with an 11? This is incredible. <gasps> and the alchemist from Kelly Lee puts phase one of that plan firmly into place. Come on, Ben. Don't do ben. me dirty. Parasite. Oh, no sneaks right. in. That's okay. <laughs> oh, Kelly point. Lee, that's rough. So lowest score, because the knight wins, that's going to put Ben on a four, so you're going to get two points. It's going to put an 11 for Will for one point, and Kelly Lee, I'm sorry, with 22, usually an amazing <laughs> score, but not with the knight in play. No. <laughs> so how many cards Are have we got left? Are you always supposed to play with the knight? Or is that yes, one allowed the, to come out? Yeah, the knight is a mandatory card. The knight always is one of the seven. He says relatively confidently, yes, it is indeed. So this is the penultimate round. Ben's locked in. Kelly's locked in. I, like, whenever I finally get to America again, to visit a convention, I really need to book a second week stateside to just get all the games in with all the amazing people that I spent time with in the last year. There are so many, and I like I cannot wait, but I don't know how it's gonna happen. I need like a month. Uh, well, I just see, gotta come to all, just gotta come to all the major conventions, right? Yeah, right. I just that's, I need to make that a thing. I need to fire our American team and just send the British team to stateside. That's <laughs> needs to happen, right? Penultimate <laughs> round. What are you playing, Will? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. But it's safe. It's nice. Sorcerer's a nice safe card, usually. Gets you out of trouble. Kelly Lee. The Merchant. <laughs> well, that's going to be interesting when you pass an 11 to an 11 to an 11. Okay. <laughs> and Ben? Sorcerer. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, the two, so the two sorcerers are going to cancel. <laughs> And then we're going to trigger the merchant. So Kelly Lee's 11 goes to Will, and Will's 11 <laughs> goes to Ben, and Ben's 11 goes to Kelly Lee. How would you look at that? I was hoping would change. We're all tied. <laughs> no point for anybody. You get nothing. Good day, sir. You lose. <laughs> oh, Kim. Kim, that sounds amazing. We need to make this happen. I need to play some games. 
Okay. You know, with your with your Willy Wonka reference, does that mean I have to walk back to you and just say I'm sorry, sir, and put my die on your desk and, and, and leave? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but only if I get to watch you fly up into the air and fart and burp to come down. Like only like you have to commit the whole thing because if you're you know if you're gonna do that, there has to be a reason for it. Exactly. Yeah. That's true, and, and and I do assume that uh, uh, in the home office in Poland, you do have a flying elevator. Oh, I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's it's government mandated. Uh, you know, you just have to have one. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of hoping that we all play the exact same card right here. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of hoping that Ben gets two points, that you get one point, and Kelly Lee wins the game with zero points. Nothing. Because <laughs> that, <would, laughs> that would make my night. <laughs> Will. The machine. The machine. Kelly Lee. The parasite. Ben. You may have your wish has. No way. The alchemist. The alchemist. <gasps> <laughs> you are having a laugh. <laughs> so that means Ben goes to 22, gets two points. Will <laughs> Will goes to 18 and gets one point. Kelly goes to four. Gets zero points. Chaos Rain. And wins the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the long con it's begun <laughs> I, I feel like there's collusion going on here <laughs> oh, oh that the was stop the, stop the count, stop the count. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag, yeah, hashtag it, retire undefeated right go 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 <laughs> it, can, can, can we call, call for a recount here <laughs> <laughs> play back the stream somebody <laughs> clip that and watch it back Oh, guys and girls, that was off. It's great because on ESPN 13 right now, they're, they're playing in slow motion that flip of Ben's card over and over. You know? <laughs> they got the, you know, doing like the little yellow pen on the screen. <laughs> yeah, the, the, odds are, the odds of that happening are running along the bottom and they're, they're naming this. This is now the Kelly Lee play. Like it's, yeah. Apparently okay. by the end of the game, everything's going to be called Kelly Lee. We've, yeah, we've right. Yeah. Like <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Kelly set the dice to 11. She has set it up and she made it work. Can't deny it. Yeah, yeah that was all my plan. You Absolutely. Think. I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> so set, a, set aside one of your... Don't let my laughter undercut the fact that I think you did that all on purpose. That's just coincidence. <laughs> so, so set aside one of your seven cards, Kelly, that you're not going to be using. Hmm. Oh, tougher choice this time. More interesting cards. Exactly. Oh my word, that was brilliant. I did not. <laughs> yeah, what are the chances? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Hon, where's Bree? Bree is usually my 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 odds calculator. She normally tells me with her Vegas her Vegas knowledge. Okay. Right. Let me know when you've chosen your card to set aside. Oh, that was wonderful. It gave me that breathed life into me. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, and we will play one less round of turn, or one less turn essentially in this round because Killer Lee's down a card. Okay, give me your dice rolls. Uh, a three from me. A three for Ben. You know, it worked so well for me last time. I stayed on 11. Nice. Kelly Lee. Seven. Seven. All right. Locked in. Locked in. All right, folks, get your first cards. And let's do it. If Kelly Lee wins this one, it's the whole Haggis Cup. If Will or Ben get it, we will go to another round. Uh, <laughs> Bree just said, I'm here, I'm here. What, I missed what was needed. You don't want to know what was needed. There was some severe math happening. I don't think even your odds calculator could have <laughs> sussed it out. It was, it was the most epic of plays I've ever seen. <laughs> Kelly Lee's playing it off, but I, I, I saw it happen. Okay, right. Will's in, Ben's in. Essentially, what happened, Brian, in case you missed it, was actually Kelly Lee won the round with zero points. <laughs> it's, it's like, in short, that is what happened. She has zero points and she won the round. <laughs> it was epic. All right, Ben. Oh, sorry, Will, what have you got? Sorcerer. Sorcerer. So, rotating your dice to any one of the uh, five adjacent faces, Kelly Lee? No. Nope. Oh. oh, sorcerer! Boo! Can we get a three-way sorcerer, Ben? I mean, it would be like the typical flavor of the the game, wouldn't it? it? Would, so wouldn't far, it? <laughs> but I did the troublemakers. 
Oh! <gasps> merchants. No, wait. Well, that, that's a merchant's oh, card you just oh, held merchants. up. My bad. Merchants. Wow. Uh -huh, troublemaker. Uh -huh. Look at that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Merchants. What's the player range in this game? It's two to four out of the box, but you can, if you're absolutely nuts, merge two copies of this game and play <laughs> with up to eight if you really want. But it's two to four is base. At two players, it's quite heavily strategic and predicting. At three players, it's kind of perfect. You get a few matches and you can kind of follow it. At four, it gets a bit more chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> three is a nice number because you get a decent amount of messiness going on so the two sources are cancelled and then we're going to merchant so the 11 of will is going to ben's three ben's three is going to kelly and kelly seven is going to will so ben with your own merchant player netting yourself two points and will snags yourself a one that worked all right well done ben that's good play uh, no, nah, I don't think Ben's the troublemaker, Susie. I, def I definitely, definitely think Kelly Lee is the troublemaker. <laughs> it's just, just, just too sweet and innocent looking, right? Just too, too smiley and happy. You just don't trust the happy ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Will's locked in. Vengeance in mind. Yeah, this this is one I cannot wait to take to conventions. Like generally, this is one I think is just worth a giggle and worth a laugh at a table. And, and it's just a small deck of cards and the dice. It's easy to pop, uh, pop it in your bag in a small box. I cannot wait to sit and play this with some people in person. But this is lovely. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but we all we all know this is just a front, Andy. We don't you don't we don't talk about my smile and, and acknowledge it. Come on now, this is. <laughs> The, da the daggers behind the eyes. You got to look for them. All right, Will. What have you got? Troublemakers. Sorry, Trouble Kelly Lee. Kelly Lee's. Yes, it's the Kelly Lee's. Kelly Lee. What have you got? The merchants. Oh, this is about to get spicy. Oh yes. Oh, that's a, could be really bad for you, depending on what Ben plays. Knight. Sorcerer. Knight. Sorcerer. All right. So. First thing first, we have to do the merchant. So the three from Kelly Lee is going to go to Will seven. The seven from Will is going to go to Ben. And the 11 from Ben is going to go to Kelly Lee. So Ben on seven, Kelly Lee 11, and uh, and Will on three. Then the troublemaker is going to kick in. All players are going to rotate their die to the opposite side. So <laughs> Will, uh, your three will become a 10. Kelly Lee, your 11 will become a two. And Ben, your seven will become a six. And then we have the sorcerer. Uh, so what face would you like to change your six into, Ben? A 10, 11, a 5, a 1, or a 4? Uh, what's Will on again? Will's on a 10. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to 11 then, I guess. Seems fair to me. <laughs> well done, well done, well done. So two points to Ben. One point to Will. And Kaylee, don't worry. I hear it's possible to win with zero points. You're still in this. I've, I've, I'm yeah. sure I've heard of it happen. I heard that, I heard that on the grapevine. I heard that, right? On the grapevine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it done, though. No. Never. Never seen it yeah. Like it's, it's mathematically improbable. Rumors. Yeah. I, I believe we scrubbed it from the record. <laughs> <laughs> Those Californian time wizards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Spinal Tap makes it back into the chat again. Hey. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will's locked in. Kelly Lee locked in. Ben. Okay. Is that your final choice, Ben? No, no. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to swap? It's all good. You're good. Okay, Will, what have you got? Let's continue the chaos. The merchants. Oh, boy. Oh, but that's brave. That's brave nom nominating yourself to get a two as Kelly Lee played a knight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. That's okay. That's going to ruin it for me again somehow. The alchemist. Wow. Ooh. Well nice. done, Will. So what's going to happen? First of all, we're going to do the merchant. So the two goes to Will, the 11 goes to Kelly Lee, and the 10 goes to Ben. Then we've got the alchemist, which will put Ben to a 20. But the lowest is going to win because of Kelly Lee. So on two, Will will take two points. And on 11, Kelly Lee will take one. 
See, what's so important I, here that Kelly Lee does not end with zero points. So now yeah. she can't win. <laughs> I'm it now. But Ben and Will, you're both tied on four apiece. So don't want no pressure. Uh, what? Uh, what? What's my number now? So you're on two. Two. Kelly is on eleven, and Ben is on ten. And if I'm right, we've got two rounds left. Kelly, you have three cards left. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. So penultimate, penultimate round. Okay. Okay. Will, what are you playing? The knight. The knight. Kelly Lee. Troublemakers. The, oh, snazzy. <laughs> ben. <Yeah>. The night. <gasps> <gasps> ben, I love you. Oh, <laughs> they're in cahoots. Oh. <laughs> so the two nights will cancel, which is really fortunate, I think, for you gentlemen. Uh, or at least for one of you. Will... The troublemaker is not going to flip everybody, so Will's going to go from a two to an eleven. Kelly Lee is going to go from an eleven to a two. And Ben's going to go from a ten to a three. So three for Ben, two for Kelly Lee, eleven for Will. Will gets two points because the knights were gone. Ben gets one, and oh, Kelly Lee absolutely hashtag robbed. Hashtag I robbed. <laughs> I predicted it, just not twice. No, I don't want to say it, but this is the last round because you've got two cards, Kelly Lee. Yeah. Yep. This is the last round. No. Don't want to say it again, but Ben is on five, Will's on six. If Ben was to score two points and Will's to get one, <laughs> just saying it's a thing. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could take this twice in a row, guys. Don't do it to me. <laughs> don't, don't do it to me. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I need to take a drink of water. Hold on. <laughs> just remember, you can't flip your table because of the. Oh, guy. I'll flip it. Oh, I'll flip it. The plants and everything, <laughs> the window behind it, chat's going to go with it. It's going to go mad. <laughs> and the, the crazy thing is the cards are so the cards are so nutty in this round that it's really hard to predict. And I haven't been following very well what everyone's played, so I really don't know how this one could work out. I mean, there's a lot of stuff yeah. happening. Right, Will? Yeah, if I've counted correctly, there's only a few ways I can lose this. If oh, I've counted oh, correctly. Oh, 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 oh. Alchemist. Yeah, I think I think but I may the, not have counted correctly. I think all the That's knights the have gone. I think all the knights have gone. So I think I see where your train of thought is going. Kelly Lee. The machine. Machine. And Ben. Ooh, I almost played that one. Maximum Chaos, the troublemakers. <gasps> oh, <laughs> there was one more of those. No. <laughs> I can't, I can't, my brain can't, I'm trying to, okay, I was just, has I, has this happened again? <laughs> the, I, has this happened again? Okay, let's just do it. So Will's 11 becomes a 2. Uh, Kelly Lee's 2 becomes an 11. Ben's 3 becomes a 10. But we have to, we have to add 7 to Kelly Lee and then double, double Will. So Kelly Lee gets 2. And Will gets one. Oh, I thought I thought it was happening, guys. No, 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 no. Will doesn't get one. Oh, because Will's on four. Ben yeah. gets one. It has. It's happened. <laughs> oh, it's happened. Chaos. Yep that 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 was the one the one thing I was looking at. I didn't think there was any of those left, but I couldn't I couldn't remember. I I, I don't I can't I don't I can't I don't I can't. You know, so, I did my part and made sure she didn't have zero points. You That's did. all I'm saying. So Will's got six. Ben's got six. Their points cancel. Kelly Lee, with three points, wins the second round and the Haggis Cup. Woo! <laughs> oh well God, done, Kelly funny. Lee. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> and on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I, um, I don't have the words. I don't, ha I don't have... I don't... I don't I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, all I know for sure is I'm going to enjoy watching this back because that was 
that was incredible. Well done, says Kim. Wow, masterful, says Andy. <laughs> as .xc as .xc is not responding, says Kim. <laughs> GG Kelly Lee. Oh my god. Ah, that was incredible, guys. Thank you so much. What an amazing <laughs> pair of games that was. And that one in particular was just brilliant. Well, well, well done. Okay. Well, with that. I'm going to say that we're, I want to play King of 12 again, but I'm going to say we're going to wrap up for the night. So for everyone who's watching at home, Will, tell us a little bit just about where people can find you and what it is you do in this wonderful, wonderful tabletop world. Yes, so um, I run the Hungry Gamer and you can find me on YouTube. You can just look up, uh, well, just search Hungry Gamer Reviews and you can find me on Facebook. Same thing at Hungry Gamer Reviews and the same thing on Instagram. You'll find playthrough videos, how to plays, review, reviews, previews, Pretty much anything board game related. Some a uh, uh, couple of interesting um, roundtable panels with different designers and publishers as well. But um, love to have you come check out the stuff. Leave some comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong, other than losing to <laughs> Kelly Lee. <laughs> don't worry. I don't think anyone could have predicted it. Well, don't beat yourself up about that one. Uh, and I will say, I want to, two things. First of all, you have probably my favorite logo in the industry, including my favorite intro sound to your videos. And if you ever need someone, you ever decide to open up the audio and let multiple people in the industry maybe get involved and add a little, mm. like I would love to, I'd love to add my own flavor maybe sometime. Just saying, just saying. You're in, send it, send it. And actually, <laughs> I am editing my Destiny's um review right now so if you want to send in your audio i will plug <laughs> that in oh no now i have said i have my i've let my mouth run away with it. that's right so I've, I'll, I'll 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 maybe i'll maybe put a weird attempt in and we can see but i'm not he's gonna have his it. people call my people and yeah yeah exactly yeah yeah we'll, we'll, we'll link see. it we'll do lunch we'll do lunch <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Kelly Lee and Ben, I can't put you both on the same screen at the same time. Maybe I can. But nah, there you go. You're just <laughs> bigger. Than I. Oh, oh, they're coming right for us. Oh, oh. Okay. Tell everybody where they can find you. What you guys are up to these days. You want me to say? It. All right. No worries. So yeah, we're the uh, game covered. So we are on Instagram. Uh, we are on Twitch. On Twitch, we stream four days a week. Um, Loads of all in contact. We've got a website as well. We do reviews and things like that. Um, is it, I always then like get a pressure and like forget things. <laughs> so, <laughs> what what you guys have is one of the most amazing, yeah. awesome, wonderful Twitch communities and some of the most amazing, wonderful Twitch mods and some of the best like exclamation mark rules of how to do Chronicles yeah. of Crime and exclamation mark pun counter. Like <laughs> you know, coming four, four nights a week is no small feat to be live streaming really regularly. <laughs> All the content you guys are putting out there. So on Twitch, if you haven't checked out the game coverage, you should absolutely do it and watch, watch Kelly and Ben because it's just wonderful, wholesome, amazing fun but i will tell you the whole thing is a lie because ben's green screen is a lie it's a lie <laughs> <laughs> for so long i was fooled that they were both in front of a cupboard but they weren't <laughs> Outrageous. thank you very much for the well, i mean but ben's Sorry. also kelly lee just with with different glasses too like it's it's all the plot thickens the plot yeah. thick that, that, never, that's, how that, that's how that win happened that's how that happened it is true i've never seen you both at the same time you may or may not be batman like I can <laughs> well look with that I'm going to say thank you so much for everybody in the chat everyone's saying oh that's not wrong you guys are awesome yay for board game covered oh and Su yeah, yeah Susie who we did drag into that game of Sea of Thieves uh, I, I, she was incredible uh, I, I completely forgot that we had so many new players in you were like a seasoned awesome. salty crew awesome. it was amazing it was great as, as makes a great captain that's what I'm going to say uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Okay, folks. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you everybody for coming along. I really appreciate. It. Thank you, Bree. Thank you, uh, Tabletop Rebellion, Kim. You guys are awesome, and we will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Take care.